Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Now, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say guys. I made a leak video two days ago talking about some brand new blind bag figures. And as that video went live, the actual figures got leaked as well. Like, more leaks came out quite literally the second the video went live and the comments section was just filled with, Simon, you do realize this pitch is already online. Yes, guys, I know. It was terrible timing. But hey, I'm here again to go through those figures that leaked a couple of days ago and some brand new ones and a figure that we don't even know what set it comes with. So it's very exciting. It's a really cool time to be seeing all these leaks coming out for 2021 Mega Constructs and really not knowing what the future holds. Like, I'll be so excited to get these in my hand one day. All of these images today, guys, are brought to you by Brian at MCX on Instagram. As always, he is just leaking all the latest sets. You should go and check him out. Give him some love. He's an awesome account. And also follow Instagram Mega Constructs News. They are also a really great place to find out the newest leaks, the newest toy information. Without further ado, we're going to start with the set that we already knew was coming out. The UNSC Marine Platoon Pack, which we've got much better images of. These pictures are clean, the figures are clean, they look gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Look at the level of, oh my god, like all the heads, all the human heads look different. All different skin tones, slightly different personalities. I've seen a lot of memes of an Ellen DeGeneres figure, which, I mean, it kind of looks pretty similar. But we've got five Marines, all super customizable. So much removable armor, so many accessories, weapons. We've got an awesome little tack pad with a cool green display. We've got one of those old radio backpacks, a mounted machine gun turret. We've got a sniper rifle in Halo 4 5 mold, a new pistol, the new assault rifle, a couple of battle rifles, a Sputnik rocket launcher. I mean, my goodness me. And it is topped off with this gorgeous orange Mark 7 Spartan. He looks badass. The whole set looks insane. I mean, I've never seen something that comes with this many army builder figures. I don't know, the, the community is gonna go nuts with this one. There's not gonna be any stopping the community. They're just gonna buy as many of these as possible. So that's the UNSC Marine Platoon Pack. Now we're going to go on to the brand new sets. I cannot believe these sets. They look so awesome. We've got two helmets. And we're gonna break them down one by one. They just look so polished, so gorgeous, so like sleek and metallic. We're gonna go for the Master Chief first, of course, with the Last Man Standing Pack. And this is not the first time we have seen a Last Man Standing Pack. First of all, it's not even the first time we've seen helmets. Like, we used to be able to buy these helmets. They came with micro builds. It was actually the first time the micro builds came out. And you got like a Hornet and a Warthog. Oh, they were so good. But this one, they've changed the design to make a mini diorama, which I am in love with. The Last Man Standing one, they've got this awesome little peg and the rod that extends out of the top of the helmet so you can have the zombie flying through the air. And we've got the glow-in-the-dark zombie Gungnir with the old mold energy sword in that awesome old zombie green. I used to love the Last Man Standing sets. I've got a very exclusive, like one-of-a-kind Last Man Standing set, so I'd love to add this to the collection. And it comes with a carter in green, and as I predicted in the uh, previous video, he comes with like that desert tan look that matches perfectly with the recon from the Banshee Breakout. I mean, look at this set. What an awesome display. You get these grass pieces and a little bit of terrain. I mean, I love the diorama aspect. I've always said from the very beginning, the more Mega Constructs can lean into in-game like levels or missions or game modes, it's always better. And they've lent into the Last Man Standing game mode, they've got two figures, and the other game mode they've lent into is Capture the Flag. Look at this blue Spartan, it looks amazing! It's another figure that we did predict correctly in the previous video, it's the new Master Chief but in blue, and the red figure, I kind of thought it was a scout from the image, but it's actually the Trailblazer. And this Trailblazer has been seen in Halo Heroes Series 13, and we're gonna get it in this as well. I love Red vs. Blue. I love any time they can sort of get on that Red vs. Blue train, but let's hope that the armor coatings for both Red and Blue color don't cost too much in Halo Infinite, aye aye aye. But it comes with a blue flag, 
and the blue Spartan actually comes with a painted weapon, which is one of the only sets I've ever seen with a painted weapon at this price, so that's cool. And yeah, I love it. I love the silver visor on the Trailblazer versus the gold visor on the Master Chief. They look awesome, and it comes with a fusion coil, a nice, interesting-looking plant. I've never seen that before, like a, like a tree, actually. I would love to hear you guys' opinion on this in the comments below. I mean, look at it. Look at these two helmets. They're so badass. It's kind of funny that we're seeing this helmet straight after we got a buildable Master Chief helmet this year. It maybe would have made more sense if we'd got a blue and a red helmet instead of, like, another Master Chief helmet, but I'm just not complaining at all. And it also kind of looks like the helmets are squished slightly, like they're not wide enough, but maybe that's just me. They still look amazing, and I love this new promotional imagery where they've got this nice sort of like simplified green or blue background. I think it looks very cool, makes the figures pop very nicely. And we've got some behind the scenes pictures of those figures, of the Gungnir, of the Commander, and of the Trailblazer. Yeah, so moving on from these two sets, which I mean, I just, like, they are awesome. So, so cool. We're gonna move on to a mystery figure. Ooh, we don't know where this figure's come from check it out. I don't know. It's a really awesome, bulky looking figure. It reminds me of some kind of heavy weaponry George. I mean, clearly it reminds me of George because it's holding the machine gun turret, but it's got a lot of brand new armor and a very interesting color palette. This image kind of makes it look a bit basic, but when you see it in the bag, the helmet looks super detailed. Like, we can see that blue visor, but then loads of silver and dark gray highlights, like secondary primary colors. Oh, I shouldn't say that anymore, thanks to Infinite. <laughs> At first, I was not that mad about the Infinite armor coatings. I was gonna wait to see how it played out. But after watching a couple of videos, I just watched the new live stream with uh, Luke at Hidden Xperia and Green Skull. Oh man, those armor coatings, they're probably not a good idea, right? But we've got this figure here, and it looks awesome. This silver and dark gray with blue, I'm a big fan of. Like I said, on the actual picture, it kind of looks a bit basic, but in the packaging, it actually looks a little more detailed. And usually it's the other way around. If you take that Trailblazer red figure, he kind of looks a bit basic on the actual image in hand. The Carter, not so much. He looks really cool. And then that does it for the new figures. But we also have some other interesting pictures that I'll share with you as well. We've got the Elite Warlord out of packaging. This is the first time we've seen it just out of its package. I've sort of increased the brightness a little bit. Uh, the picture that Brian MCX took looked a bit darker, a little bit of a darker yellow, but it might just be his camera. The figure looks awesome. It's not like exactly Halo Hero standard. And I think that's what Mega Constructs are kind of losing sight of now. I think they're kind of seeing Halo Heroes as a cool way to sort of show off individual figures with sort of nice paint apps, but they're not up to the same standard it seems as like old Halo Heroes where there's like 20 paint apps. This Warlord does look good, but the energy sword looks super basic and the figure itself, I mean, it's an amazing mold. It looks exactly like an Elite General from Halo Reach. It's like, it's an awesome mold, but other than that, it's a little bit lacking. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll have a different opinion when I see it up close and personal. The Brute Chieftain definitely looked better than this one does. And then Brian MCX also shared this Elite Ultra figure. Interestingly, he says that it has a different armor chest. It actually has the Warlord's chest. A different armor chest compared to the Elite Ultra that we've seen is included in Halo Infinite Blind Bag Series 2. Maybe this is just the final image. Maybe they've updated the armor. Now they've got the Elite Warlord mold. Maybe this will actually be the one that comes in Blind Bag Series 2. But Brian MCX, he shared this and he specifically commented saying that it was the Elite Warlord chest. So I don't know what's going on with that. The last thing I'll share with you guys, I know this will pique a lot of people's curiosity, is all of these little baby dragons. They look adorable and it's not exactly clear what these are from. Maybe they're from Breakout Beasts. Maybe they're from Game of Thrones. It's not very clear. I would think that they're probably going to be Game of Thrones because Game of Thrones has been doing pretty well and that Drogon figure sold, I think, really well. It would make sense to me if they now made some uh, little dragon eggs from like the first, is it the first series? I'm not amazing on Game of Thrones, but it would make sense to me if they made those little baby dragon eggs. Like they took note from Breakout Beasts and they released some like dragons that were like, they came out of eggs and they were like Daenerys' eggs or they were linked to Game of Thrones in some way. But I'm excited to see where those prototypes go. They look really cool. I would definitely like a couple of dragons hanging out around my house. I would not mind that at all. And I, I like, I just can't wait to get hold of all these sets. Please do let me know in the comments below which is your most anticipated 
anticipated set. They all look insane, but for me, that Marine Platoon pack and probably the Blue Helmet are the standouts to me. I, I don't know, I like the Master Chief Helmet, but I've got the buildable one that a review will be coming out soon. So, I mean, there's already a Master Chief Helmet. So I'm more excited about the Blue Helmet and just the potential of that in the future. I mean, imagine if they made Elite Heads or like ODST Heads, I mean, my goodness. The possibilities are endless with that and they might just be trying it out again, like the Micro Builds. They let Micro Builds sort of sit for a couple of years and then they tried them out again and now they're like going all in with them. So maybe they're doing the same with these helmets. I would really like that a lot. Thanks as always, guys. Have an amazing day. And the Pelican is signing off. <laughs>